Good evening. It's a great honor to accept this Edward J. Hurley Citizenship Award on behalf of my late husband, Rick Rescorla. Rick became a U.S. citizen shortly after returning from Vietnam in 1966. He was always proud to be a citizen, an American, and I am always a little extra proud of him because he earned it on the battlefields with sweat and blood. Rick knew firsthand the cost of preserving this great nation. He knew that with rights come duties, and that is true for soldiers and citizens alike. Rick has become a role model for a new generation of American soldiers and citizens. I receive many emails from soldiers in action who have adopted Rick in the spiritual sense. Early on in the Afghanistan war, I received word from some special forces soldiers. They were writing Rick's initials on their ammunition before their firefights. We also have pictures of our, on our website of a Marine artillery uh, battery that painted their, that printed their tribute to Rick on a Holwitzer shell before sending it downrange in the Battle of Fallujah. I correspond with soldiers at forward operating base Raskorla in Farah, Afghanistan. They named their base in Rick's honor, and their latrine sits at the main gate and is painted with a glorious mural about Rick. You know that Rick would have loved having a latrine named after him. We show a picture of this on our website. And I just would like to please share with you an email from the soldiers. And this is dated August 4th, 2008. Dear Mrs. Rescorla, greetings. My name is Captain Matt Dennehy, Denny, and I am currently deployed to Farah, Afghanistan. I am deployed with a team of 19 U.S. Army captains and senior non-commissioned officers. Our team is charged with fostering a professional environment as we, as we train and coach and mentor a battalion-sized element of the Afghanistan National Army. We are an embedded training team that assists the ANA in operational and linguistic pl uh, planning, among other tasks. Our team in Farah is called Yukon, and we are proud soldiers who currently reside at forward operating base Rescorla. We are all well versed in Colonel Rescorla's heroic background, both as a leader and as a provider. We have been expanding our FOB in the past few months, and I'm excited to say that we will have the original mural painted on all of our buildings, and, and including in the, their project, we will also have another painting dedicated to Colonel Rescorla. Emails like this just, this just say it all for me, that, that this is all not in vain. And actually on this past 9-11, because, because the captain had written some uh, phone numbers uh, in, Afghanis in Afghanistan, I actually tried phoning them to tell them how proud I was of them for their patriotism and their courage that this is not in vain. And um, anyway, I wasn't successful in getting through on the phone, but I did email them, and he did eventually email me back that on 9-11, they actually had a memorial service there for all of us back here in the United States. In closing, I would like to thank the American Veterans Center for acknowledging Rick with this special award. He would be very proud of this, and especially proud since it comes from you, his, the veterans, his warrior brothers, Thank you, and God bless you. And please just remember that the most profound thing that people told me after 9-11 was that Rick was telling people, today is a day to be proud to be an American, because tomorrow the world will be looking at you, and the world is looking at us. Thank you. Thank you.